Hey guys, and I am the Dr. Lego. Oh, you heard it. I'm Dr. Lego. And um, basically, I do Lego videos, as you can see. Um, and so, as of right now, because I'm new to YouTube, I haven't I haven't ever had a YouTube channel before in my entire life um, for Lego. So, basically, this channel is for the digital um, Lego digital designer and how to build sets and models. I will have actually had teach you guys how to build old-fashioned sets back in the day, which are really cool because I love old-fashioned Lego. Who doesn't? So who doesn't like old-fashioned Legos? They were amazing, they were incredible, and Lego did very, very well back in its day. Um, and I'm also going to be having reviews and actually how to build sets. Um, so if you're building a uh, big Lego city or even a small little town, you know, a, by uh, 32 by 32 or 42 by something, and you want to build your own set because Lego has beautiful sets, they are very expensive, and sometimes you just want to be, besides being expensive, you can, sometimes people like to be a little bit more creative, and you can build your own set. So if you want to buy pieces, there's a website called Bricklink. I will leave the, their uh, website below in the description, description below, sorry. And um, you can go there and you can get your pieces, and they have really, really good deals. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Lego Digital Designer. So... A lot of people will say, well, once you install it, um, I'm gonna, you know, have, you know, you know, have your models and everything, and then you want to transfer over your computer or your computer gets gets ruined. Well, just to hate to break it to you, well, Le Lego Digital Designer is, um, they have something really, really cool. Um, you actually do not, if you have like 400 different models, they are, um, they're not actually installed onto LEGO Digital Designer. They're actually installed onto your actual computer. So as you can see right over here, this is um, an L LXF, which is basically, um, it's not actually into the program, but it is kind of like a terminal to the program. So that's basically it. So it, you technically, you can technically take any model of LEGO Digital Designer on any other computer and put it on here and you um, can have it on here and um, if something happens to the program this will not get deleted it will still be there so nothing to worry about I heard a lot of people complain about this it's not true you don't actually your program your um, works will not get destroyed if Lego Digital Designer is deleted or something happens to it if this gets deleted nothing's gonna happen to your program they're on your computer they're fine nothing to worry about so let us begin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Safari, and um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be typing in Lego Digital Designer. Of course, Google search comes up automatically, and um, here it is. So when you get to the Lego Digital Designer page, you come to this, and it says for Windows, PC, and Mac OS X. Uh, like I, um, the thing is. I know that it works for PC and I know it works for Mac. I don't know about Linux because I don't know many people that use Linux, but Linux users, you should be calling up uh, Lego and ask them if this will, will work with your computer. I would not uh, play around trying to install something if it does not allow you to install. So, okay, so as you can see, the page has um, the Get Inspired and all the news. So what you're going to do is you're just going to press the um, download and it's going to show you two options. So I don't believe this is available for, no, I do not believe this is available for Linux. And it, it's better if there's RAM uh, one, uh, one gigabyte on your computer for Mac and 512 megabytes for PC. And it takes about one gigabyte up, which is, you know, reasonable because it is a very powerful program. And this works for 10.68. So if you have Snow Leopard, um, which is an Intel processor computer, you're good for Mac. And this actually works all the way to Windows XP. So if you guys have very old computers, um, Windows XP will be great. Um, but you're going to need a uh, file 
um, what do you call those file holders? Um, I do not have a link. I don't have any website for that, but you can search that on Google. It's called a file holder for XP so that you can actually have your models go into a folder um, without crashing on your Windows XP. So to begin, you just press download because I'm using a Mac and it automatically um, sends the page as a zip file to um, my uh, downloads and it takes a while it takes about three minutes remaining so um, when this when this is finished uh, I'm gonna come back and show you the whole installation process so see you guys see you guys at hey guys uh, welcome back so it basically finished so it shows over here an LDD um, package of course so LDD stats for Lego digital designer and all I'm gonna do is double click and I'm gonna have the installer come up so let me close this because it's kind of annoying and this explains to you um, will, you will be guided through the steps necessary to install the software so you press continue 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 agree Press install, and it takes up 600. I see. Okay, and then I'm gonna put in my password. Okay, and and then it usually takes about up to two to three minutes uh, for it to um, actually load. Uh, not this, um, but the actual program. So, yep. Ooh. So I got a little installer. So you just press close. And I can basically just throw this out. I don't need it. And so just do that. Okay, and um, it usually takes a little longer because it was installed on my computer. Um, it went a little quicker. So that's basically how you install um, Lego Digital Designer. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And the next video, I'm going to teach you on how to use um, and actually how to build um, a uh, master bedroom uh, for Lego Digital Designer. And um, a... Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. I hope you have a brick-tacuful day. I think I said that correct. Brick-tacuful brick day. Yep. Okay. See you guys in the next video.